It's that time of the year. What time is it? Muffet's final time. I thought you meant final the end of the Lithuanian selection. Is that over yet? Well, I think right now they just started the competition for their contestant for 2019. 2020. Girl. <laughs> well, it is Melfest finale weekend. Yep. So you ready? Are you ready to review our top three? I am. Let's do this! Bernardo. <sighs> Kevin. You came all the way from Portugal. Well, I spent my money and coming here, yeah. But here I am, yeah. For the finals of Melfest. Yeah. It's the most inc- exciting show of the year, so yeah. I'm really excited to be here. Yeah. So what do you feel about the 12 contestants vying for the Songbird Trophy? I think on an, in, an, in an overall bad selection this year, bad crop of songs, I think it's a strong final. I think the right songs advanced, and I think SVT uh, and the Melfest team have a really good show uh, prepared for all of you watching at home on, on Saturday, yeah. I have to agree with you. I think it, this was a very interesting year for songs. I think it had a very wide variety mm-hmm. of different types of yep. songs, which was great. And the right songs advanced, except Dotter. Hopefully you come back next year and slay, because Loreen did the same thing. Exactly, she yeah. She came back and she won huge. But yeah, let's go. Let's All start right. this thing. Who's well, your number three, Kevin? Number three. We're just doing our top three. Number yeah. three, I am placing Mr. John Lundvik. Mm. For me, my top three is made up of three different categories with three different things. There is the voice, there is the song, yep. and there is the staging. And when it comes to the voice, no one does it better in actually many years than John Lundvik. Yeah, I think I agree with you, yeah. I think it's the best voice of the competition by far. I think he has a a song that really showcases his talent, uh, and that's a huge step into making uh, a nice impression. At least a nice nice impression. Oh, he definitely does make a nice impression. That's the other strength for him. (coughs) His genuine charm and sincerity transcends the TV screens. People feel it right away. The fact that he was able to go direct to the finals. With a ballad. With a ballad. Starting at number two, it wasn't since 2011 that happened. It's like you have the death spot and you're still able to overcome it. And with a ballad. Yeah, and debuting. And debuting, yeah, because you're not known in Sweden. That's incredible, yeah. So it definitely made a good impression. If he doesn't win, I hope he come, comes back in another year um, with another song, maybe even better, um, and win the ticket and represents within Eurovision because the voice he has, yeah. Well, I think also if he has an album or EP coming out oh, yeah. shortly, it'll do well because now we're discovering his voice and his style of music. He's sung on some tracks before, he's written songs before, but this definitely is his turn. And regardless of the result, mm-hmm. he's going to have a lot of success in the public life after this. My number three is Liamo with Last Breath. I must be honest, I think the first time I listened to the song, I didn't connect with it. But then I went back home to Portugal uh, and I started listening to the song and repeat and it kind of stays in your head. He has an amazing voice. I think people don't understand how amazing his voice is. It is very compelling and you, you can really transmit his feelings through his voice. I think this is not the best song for him. Yeah, because I, yeah. I agree. I don't think people know how good his voice is, including Liamo, because had he realized the full potential, <coughs> he would have not done yep. the rap. Uh, he would have done a completely singing song. So to me, that is what hurts him. But I do have to say he did up his game. So it's better. It's, it's better. It's better. He had time to work on it since Gothenburg. And now he's ready to at least make... Top five. I, I hope he makes at least a top five because it means people in Sweden really recognize his talent. Um, well, they already did. He won Idol. Yeah. So there you go. It's great that you want to get your stuff out yep. there, but you do that after you get the victory at Melfest and then you do your own music. But either way. But I think, for example, his song, Last Breath, it has one of the best chorus of the series Malfest edition. I think the verses are quite weak. The rap, it doesn't connect with a lot of people. Usually people only listen to American rap. They don't listen to European. Uh, but yeah, I think the chorus is really strong. And I hope he has a nice showing with the international juries. I really do. And I agree. Really the do. chorus is definitely something that is strong. However, that brings me to my number two. Yes. Because Liam will be buried because there is a better <laughs> song out there. The song, the best song in the contest. And this was actually my number <coughs> one. This was my number one until today. And I'll explain why later on. But my number two is Felix Sandman 
with every single day. Ah. This is the best song in the contest. Yes. I love the song. I love his voice for the song. The song was crafted for Felix. Mm -hmm. And it's just, oh, I love the song so much. I feel it. And he's such a nice guy, too. Um, the only thing that I kind of am not really full support behind mm -hmm. is in the last third of the song, he gets a little bit too much into it. He's headbanging mm -hmm. and he's doing the Salvador. Yeah, but I think that's good. It means, good you're total it's, yeah, it means you're totally into the it's song. It's good if it's natural, but if you look back at everything, the headbang comes at yeah. the exact same time <laughs> and it so comes on the beat and the movements are so similar <laughs> and it kind of takes away from that genuine feeling. Uh -huh. And you know what? Now we've seen it it will be three times in a row on saturday from the first time he did it in semi four to under hansen to the end and it's such a genuine song but i really think that that last third just takes away yep. from 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 the staging felix Salmon is also my number my number two um it's by far the best song in the series Muffet's competition it's by far the best composition it has the best lyrics it has the best song construction i think it has everything it's it's the total package to win he started with the wrong with the wrong food because he, he had <coughs> health issues when he performed in the semi final and then he got a little bit uh, he got a little bit better in under chanson and now his vocal abilities are on point i think he's getting to that 100% he needs to perform on on Saturday. I think the international juries will eat this up. I think they'll eat the song up. Yeah, I, 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 but I, I think the staging will take a bit away from it. I think it's going to mix the jury up. He's going to get 12s and he's going to get well, I think it's an open competition this year. I don't know. I can't b b find a clear winner in this pack of songs. I think of all of them, this one is the song that has the most chances of doing well well it's reached uh, with number one on spotify so yeah we'll yeah see. but again it's will the staging in my opinion take away from it uh, but that was your number two yeah that's my number two but if he goes to eurovision it's something he can work on yeah because but he's had you, three weeks to work on it already uh, so but if you have a bad song you can work a bad song if you have a good song you can work on the staging and right. make it and but make it work unfortunately yeah. i don't think anything about the staging has <laughs> changed since semi-final four <laughs> But speaking of changes to staging, now we Go get to, your number, to one. number one, Mr. Benjamin Ingrosso. Ah. <laughs> now, this was my number two mm -hmm. up until today. And he changed. Why? And he changed. Tell us. Because he must have gotten some advice from Liamo because <laughs> he is giving full sex eyes now. Benjamin has grown up. He went to L.A. I don't know what he experienced <laughs> there, but he came back a man because when I see him on that stage now, I don't see a cute little boy with the lights. I see a man with sexuality in his hips, in his eyes, and he is ready to give it to Europe. That's the funny thing because if you look at the performance in terms of choreo and camera angle, Angles, it doesn't change much it's the same choreography and it's the same camera angles but it's the way he does them it's the way he enjoys this this is extremely sexual it's Extre in his eyes it's yeah, in it's his in eyes, eyes. you it's will in his see moves. it and that to me was the <laughs> biggest change out of all the acts margaret sure had outfit yeah. changes but there's something different about Benjamin, and it was that little bit that he was missing. <coughs> and this is the thing that I think, I just looked at the first time he was on yeah. stage, and I was like, oh, winner. And he really came off as a w winning performance. And you can see, oh, this, this is probably going to win. But as I told you, this is an open competition. I don't think there is a clear winner here. And it will depend on how the international juries go. It definitely will. Because if one thing the app vote has done us, it's definitely learned to spread things apart. Mm -hmm. But I do want to mention one more point. As you said, Please it's do. an open competition. But there is one act that has the song, that has the voice, and has the staging. And that's Jessica Anderson. Anderson. <laughs> I am so hoping, <laughs> the deep guilty side of me, I'm hoping Jessica Anderson goes to Eurovision because that would be amazing. And she does have, not not the best voice, that's yep. John, not the best staging, that's Benjamin, not the best song, uh, song that's Felix, but actually she takes from all three yep. and has her own thing. So that's another one to look out for. You didn't put Jessica Anderson in your top three, but my guilty pleasure is also my number one. <laughs> I have no shame. My number one is Samir and Victor with Shuffler. Um, and this is, this is very clear for me. For years now, I've been craving authenticity from Sweden. Um, and I think in this pack of artists and songs, Samir and, Victor's, Samir and Victor and their song Shuffler is the one, it's the more authentic one, you know? 
uh, even if with the choreograph, uh, the choreography, which usually they don't have in their um, Malfas entries, uh, even the fact that they worked on their vocals and they improved their vocals to this year's competition, everything still seems authentic. They still jump on stage. They still have a lot of fun on stage. The song is by far the best song they, they brought into the competition. I've seen a lot of Swedes saying, if it wasn't up, if it was up to them, they would send the song Shuffler to Eurovision because it's one of the best entries in this year's Malfast competition. For me, as a foreigner, I think... And creating authenticity from a country that usually is everything very perfect and very this and this and this and this and has to go like this to be perfect. I want dirt. I want people to to be loose on stage and, and to be true to themselves uh, and to their artistry. And I think even singing in, in Swedish, even not being perfect English speakers, I think they would bring something fresh and new to Sweden. And uh, yeah, I don't think you have a winning song on the pack this year to win your vision. Oh, you never know. You never, yeah, you never know what happens. Yeah, out, but uh, but on 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 my personal my personal opinion is that you don't have a your vision winning song this Which year. Which is what everyone said about Portugal last year. Well, <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> well, here is what I think. Yeah. Uh, I think Benjamin and Felix are the two favorites. Yep. Absolutely, but I think they might kind of split the jury. 12s, 4s, 12s, 2s, 12s, 0s, yeah. which might pave the way for someone to get lots of 8s and 10s John and Vic. to take the victory. But again, that could also be Jessica Anderson, yes. who is well familiar with the international It could be Samir and Victor. It could be anyone. It could be anyone, really. So this is definitely going to be a nail-biting finale. Finale. And we hope you enjoy the show on SVT Play, yeah. because we'll be here on ground to bring you interviews with the winner and possibly the other acts so you've all seen the acts i want you guys to comment down below who do you yeah. think's gonna win and don't forget to subscribe to our channel right and there. you have like kind of a ringy thing hit you the should... like button uh if you agree with us and hit the like button if you disagree <laughs> with us and comment below why you disagree with us definitely <laughs> so thank you so much bernardo well thank you for having me thank you for being here in my amazing apartment yes it's incredible, right? And we'll see you again <laughs> throughout the next two days. Bye-bye!